All right, so, but well, we're just gonna continue right along. This part is probably gonna be, you know, treasure hunting or something such. Actually, off screen, before uh, I did that Kyoto thing, because we were stuck at uh, Hild, whatever that place was, I fast traveled back to uh, Fornberg and did that uh, deer hunting quest, so we can turn that in. Get in here. Is that a like? Oh, what the? All right. Maybe we'll try breaking uh, Eric Loyal Skull. All right, let's let's go to this, and then we'll head to this, and uh, we'll give a crack at a Loyal Skull there, and uh, turn in the quest, and maybe check out this place. But, you know what? Let's do a little, uh, before we do that, let's do a little right, light reading, right? A little sh shorter half, right? All right. Bandits, group threat. Group bandit groups thrived in the ninth century, found all across the seven kingdoms. Impoverished and disenfranchised. All right, Vikings. Viking nigger. All right. So we got that. So next, enemy types. Let's go. Archer. Untrained in melee combat, archers maintain a distance. Goliaths. Capable sun burst of speed. Yep. Standard bearers. The lookout for their fellows may well give help to someone you thought you'd all but finished off. Geh. Gedrit. They relentlessly swing their massive two-handed flails with reckless abandon, spreading mayhem wherever they go. Seasoned veterans who coordinate their attacks, the Saxon kinsmen fight in tandem. Arbalist. Crossbow. House Carl. Ambidextrous masters of all weapons. Hesitation is defeat. Militia. Militia fight dirty. They throw mud and dirt. Firekeeper. Reaver, nimble and vicious fighters. Rogue. Sneaky little rotters who attack from hidden positions. Berserker. Highly energetic fighters able to maintain a steady, aggressive, and nearly interminable combo axe attack. Wallbringer. Elite Viking warriors with large two-handed double-sided axes. They really want to hurt you and take huge deliberate swings. When injured, they furiously switch to bashing with hammers. Ah, so that was that one dude, that first boss we fought. Slinger. Men-at-arms. Cocky veterans. They can't always beat you, but they will certainly insult you. Vikinger. Boar masters. Great, we're gonna. The boar is not your enemy. Defenders. Macbeth! Tribal leaders who dominate the battlefield with incredible range. When desperate, they drink an energy potion. But that potion is also poisonous, it certainly kills the drinker. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Banneret. County Fighter, Wolf Stormer, beware his traps, defeat the wolf first. Alright, people, 
Who do we have? Sigurd Steer. Sigurd Steer Bjornsson. I always get his dad's name. Yeah. Where Sigurd Steer Bjornsson leads, men follow. As Ivor's adopted brother, he is strong, fearless, charismatic. He could sail through the putrid poison rivers of Helheim and spin it into a tale that would have every warm blood of Viking earth fighting for a place on the ship. It's also clear to anyone who knew him well that Sigurd was perhaps too inclined to believe his own hype. <laughs> Basim Ibn Ishak. A common first impression of Basim is a mixture of danger and intrigue. Soon thereafter, one might get a sense of someone thinking several moves ahead. In fact, he is likely playing an entirely different game. I like his sword. Basim met Sigurd Steerborn. Steer. Sigurd! On some, the same day, he received a contract for a prominent player from the prince's homeland. He knew the gods had favored him, but he didn't care which. Mysterious seemingly a... Oh. There we go. Oh. This mysterious and seemingly aloof as a shadowy brotherhood he represents, but seems the ultimate goal is unknown even to his protege. Hide them. It's closer to him than anyone still living. Randy. Randy's love for her husband Sigurd takes the same form as most in the Raven clan, though. No. Admiration from a distance. Given the number of times Sigurd has spent traveling during their arranged marriage, the two are still strangers in many ways. But Renvi is, at her core, a pragmatic woman who knows from her people's harsh history that there are far worse fates in a utilitarian marriage. Gunnar. Blacksmith has a special fondness for Ivor, having been orphaned himself, but at a much younger age, the people of Helbor became his new extended family, and after Varen's death, carried that love of community to Fornberg. Now well into his adult years, he yearns for a more immediate family he can call his own. Dag. As the toughest and strongest of young Prince Sigurd's playmates, Dag was certain of his destiny. When the prince became king, he would be Sigurd's right hand. Then Ivor's village was raised and everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Dag knew things would never be the same with his oldest and best friend, but the fates can turn anyone's luck. Alright, so keep an eye on Dag. Valka. Old lived apart from society, but this daughter of a seer, or Volva, was never welcomed or greeted with the same sense of hope and dread that her mother evoked. At least not until she inherited that title. Uh, you see. Hytham. The hidden ones offered him a purpose. Now he finds himself on an uncertain voyage. Steerbjorn. The last of the Riga folk gave petty kings, did not rise to power rashly, but through careful planning. Harold. It's like saying that Norway is a bit rocky. In a land where petty kingdoms rise and fall with the tides, Harold has a pe the pedigree and army to back up his aspirations for a unified nation. Yep, fair hair. Was the son of Halfden the Black, so named for his own dark head of hair. Clearly, this was family that knew style was an intimate cousin of substance. <laughs> nice. Kjotve. Long is the list of warriors lost to the bloody clan wars that ravaged Riga Frulke, but few will be remembered with the same fear and loathing as Kiotve the Cruel. Rise prominence from a relatively insignificant clan was fast and brutal. He privately wondered whether his son Gorm would prove too weak to take Riga Frulke himself, and so determined to beat the land into submission before his final day. Help a secret distant allies. Quickly silence it, and then Odin. The Hanged God, Shield Shaker, Greybeard, and Wanderer. In fact, we created the Nine Realms out of the carcass of a dead giant. Odin feels he should be exempt from any binding fate. Particular, particularly one where that ends in the jaws of a monstrous wolf. This thirst for power through knowledge is unquenchable. He sacrificed an eye for insight and hung himself on the tree Yggdrasil and the father of all near death experiences. When not acting as his role as chief among the Norse gods, he wanders the mortal realm, autumn in the form of a bearded old man wearing a long cloak, a white hat, and carrying a staff. Classic Odin. Classic Gandalf, right? We all know Gandalf was actually Odin in secret. Alright, so there goes our impromptu uh, lesson, I guess. Little interesting tidbits, I suppose. We got a helmet too, didn't we? What's it look like on us?
and we can wear the helmet and have it disabled. That you dig? Yeah. That was a worrying sound. <laughs> now I kind of want to get in a fight. See how this uh, flail does. I was we're probably gonna move back to the two-handed axe. But I'm willing to test every weapon, right? Not available. Perfect. Okay. So that was a waste of time. <laughs> Think I can get it? New ability, Rage of Helheim. Abilities are learned through books of knowledge. They are powerful fighting moves that can be used during battle at the cost of adrenaline. Some abilities focus on melee. To find more books, explore the world and search for wealth in each territory. So what is Rage of El Helheim? Ah! So how do we activate these? Alright, cool. That and then we're gonna head to uh, Eric Loyal Skull. We'll try to beat him with. Uh, we'll try a couple times, right? Now that we have skills, we can probably do it. We'll try it with a couple skills, but I'm sure we can pull it off now. grab that on our way to uh the all thing but we're gonna do the all thing later obviously <laughs> dun, 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 dun. signifying the bear's allegiance of the Order of the Ancients.
All right. Hunters of Silver Glory. East of Alrekstad, the horde will lock upon you from Torgotten's rock's eye. Engage its gaze and reap its reward. All right. East of Alrekstad. So it might actually be this. I doubt it, because if there would be no point in just having this be there if we had a map. Or the map would be useless, since it already shows up. But yeah. So let's do this. And I'll see you all when we're about to go fight Loyal Skull. Alright, let's uh let's use some of these skill points. I know I could upgrade my gear too, but let's work with the skill points, right? So let's do uh let's do this. Assassination. Ah, all right. I like that idea of getting that. So what are we gonna use this last point for? Getting backstab would be pretty good. There we go. So the next two points will get a uh, evasion backstab. All right. Let's do a little save while we spent those points. You are alone. My name. We will all. We are. It was he killed. It. I did not. It is with. For Ragnar, for glory, for the oh, wandering tring oh. gear, do I raise my blade. If anything, I'm stubborn. So let's not save on this, but let's see what we can upgrade, right? So let's uh, say we upgrade that. We'll upgrade, uh, Damage. All right. Let's try this again. You are alone. My name, we built all. We are. It was. He killed it with nothing but a knife. I did not. It is with great. Very well. For Ragnar. For glory. For the wandering drink gear do I raise my blade. Going to see the world. You honor me with your skill and ferocity. 
That is all that matters. You bleed it! What? We're close. All right, let's try this again. You're a long way from any wall. My name, we all. It's me. Yes, I did not. It is with great honor. I will very well. For honor, for glory, for the wandering string gear. Do I raise my blade? Going to feed the worms. Honor me with your skill and ferocity. That is all that matters. Come on, we can do it. Ah, you are a true drinker. Ragnar would have liked you. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We did it! A fitting end to honorable warring. Now I go to see my brother. He who laughed at death. Scourge of all England. Ragnar Lothbrok. Farewell, Dringa. Listen for hoofbeats and follow the Valkyries home. Mystery defeated. Let's try and go. It's kind of dropping, but it's better to put them over there instead of just laying face down over here, right? And I said we might as well get this backstab. That'll help in fights. And you know, a little shorter, but I think this is a great. Pl you know what? Nah, let's go. Uh, I was gonna say this is a great place to let it end, but no, let's go turn in that uh, deer quest as well. So one suck. All right. Let's go find that hunter. And I guess I'll talk to, uh... Nah, we can do everything. Let's just turn in this quest. That'll be a good end to the video. Alright. So if I recall... 
go up here. No, that's the tattoo man, right? Swain. Yeah, have you just a few words look? See you later, Swain. Sure. I don't need to look at tattoos. That'll be next episode. I think we might have earned one. So where is the Huntress? Alright, there we go. She was somewhere around here, right? Hunter and Farm Workers ask for three reindeer antlers. Yeah. Reindeer antlers. Huntress. Could have sworn she was somewhere around here. That one it. Oh, no. Here she is. Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Will that do? Yes. Have a look in the mountains between Fornburg and Stavanger. I have heard stories of a great elk that wanders there. Hornberg and Stavanger. So I'm like right there. What's this? Ah. So maybe this, this. Something in there, because there will be a great elk. That'll be something to find. Let's do that next time as we make our way there, to there, there, and all of there. Or not all, maybe not all of this, but. Some of it, at least, right? Fafnir's Fang. Increased critical chance. We're gonna use a spear. <laughs> I like this. I like the spear. Boys like spears. So we're gonna stop here, and we're gonna end here. Hope you all enjoyed, leave a like if you like, leave a dislike if you dislike, tell me why, and yeah, I shall see you all again. See ya.